This video is going to be showing you how to use the smoke machines. Um, we have three smoke machines here at the college, so I'll kind of walk you through how to set up each one and use them to uh, test for exhaust or a intake manifold gasket leaks. And so that's what First smoke machine we have is the Smoke Pro, a very basic machine. Um, it has a smoking tube right here. and. Uh, it's got a yellow or red and black wire that's hooked up to it that have uh, alligator clips that we can hook these up to a battery. So usually the car battery, but it doesn't matter. You can hook it up to an auxiliary 12 volt battery. Doesn't doesn't matter. Um, and so and then on the back side of it, you have a hose right here that needs to be hooked up to shop air. And so we're going to go ahead and plug the the shop air into it and then we'll get going. Okay, I plugged in the shop air on the back side back here and I've plugged in the red and black wire, the power and ground, that's plugged onto a battery. I got a green light right here which means that the machine is ready to go. So the way it works is uh, this right here is your adjusting knob. So if you turn the knob you'll see a ball start to float right up here in the, in the uh, flow meter. So I'll go ahead and crank it open. You see that ball going up there? Now there it is, right there. So you see that ball going up and down there. These little marks on the side are for testing EVAP systems. So this is checking for 20 thousandths leak, 25 thousandths, 30 thousandths, and 40 plus thousandths of leak. And so we're gonna, we're gonna be checking for gasket leaking. So we, go we can go ahead and crank it up a little bit. And we're gonna look at the sampling tube right here. I call it a sampling tube, but it's actually where the smoke comes out. Now to turn it on, there's a button right here. You push the button, whoops, I just turned it off. Push the button, red light comes on, and the way these things work is there's inside the, the machine right up here, there's a reservoir of oil, and it's a special type of oil. And inside the machine, there's a little heater that's inside there. The heater heats up the oil and then the oil starts to um, smoke. And so that's, that's what we're doing is we're using that smoky oil and you can see it right here, it's starting to, to smoke. A real good, easy way to, to see the smoke really well is to just shine a light on it and you'll be able to see the smoke really well. And so uh, the idea is, is to use one of these machines, you hook it up to your intake system and if you see any smoke coming out of it anywhere, that's where your leak is. So that's what we're gonna do turn it off, we just hit that button and it shuts off the smoke and uh, then we disconnect everything and that's how you use this machine. So let's look at the next machine. This machine is similar to the other one in the, in the fact that uh, it's got a reservoir right here where oil goes in. It's got an internal heater so when you plug this into a, uh, a car battery uh, and turn it on it'll start up the heater and it'll heat oil up and the oil will start smoking and uh, we'll come out of the end of this tube right here. So that's how this one works. And you do have air pressure going up to it right here and I've already plugged in the air. So we've got air pressure and we've got a power light right here which means I've already got it hooked up to the 12 volt battery. If this green light on this particular machine, if this green light is flashing, then that means that your battery is low. And so you'll need to charge your battery before, you, before this machine will work. And the smoke light will turn red when you push the start button. So we're going to go ahead and hit the start button. We've got a red light that come on here. And this is your regulator, your flow regulator. So you can see it there again, it has the little ball that goes up and down. I don't know that you can see it very well on the video, but it goes up here. And you can adjust how high up it goes and stuff. This also has some settings on here for EVAP, which is 10 thousandths, 20 thousandths, 40 thousandths. And this machine smokes really well. You can see the smoke coming up already. Um, and then, like I say, if you've got, uh, if you got it set uh, to 40 thousandths, we'll say. So we'll bump that little ball right up to 40 thousandths. If, if your ball is less than 40, if it goes, if it's lower than 40 thousandths, then you're good you don't have to worry about a leak. But if it's higher, or if 40 thousandths or higher, that means you have at least a 40 thousandths leak. And here again, if you use a nice flashlight, you'll be able to see the smoke really well on this one. 
Um, and so that's the way this machine works. To finish with this machine, you can just hit that little spark or start button to turn it off and the smoke stops and then disconnect everything and you're finished. Is the red line. And this one's probably our most deluxe uh, smoke machine. It'll do turbo systems and it'll also do evap systems over here. So this one works on the same principle. You have oil reservoir um, that uh, a internal heater on side, inside the machine heats up the oil, causes the oil to smoke. The oil will be smoking out of a tube like this one. And uh, the difference on this one is you can uh, do high volume, which it would be necessary for checking turbos, and you can do low volume, which would be necessary for checking EVAP systems. Now, the way this one works, you've got an on-off switch here. So if you flip it to the one side, you've got the turbo. You flip it to the other side, you got EVAP. We're gonna focus on the EVAP because that's the one that you're gonna use for finding leaks. Now, on this one, <clears throat> um, you do have to hook it up to air, and also with this machine, I'll spin it around here so you can see. On the back side of this machine, instead of plugging into a battery, this one plugs into regular air. I mean, re sorry, regular electricity. So you'll need an extension cord on this one. And um, to hook this one up uh, with air, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug the air in on the back side, right there, and we're good to go. When we, we're, gonna, we're already in the EVAP system side. We can do so, air only, so we turn that button on, and check your, your pressure gauge. Your pressure gauge should be at least 15 PSI, usually between 15 and 20, which is exactly where it's, it is now. If you do need to adjust that, this is the pressure regulator and use two, just two fingers on it and to lift this out just a little bit and then you can adjust the air pressure left and right to get it where you want it to go and then you push that cap back in and that's all you need to do. Most of the time you don't have to worry about adjusting that. So with that um, we can also adjust your flow rate over here. So you can see that little ball coming up and down and so we can use this to, uh, to adjust, to check for leaks in the EVAP system. So if we put the ball about halfway there, if you've got uh, no leak in the system, the ball comes down. If you do have a leak in the system, it goes up. So all I'm doing is just uh, plugging and unplugging the air hose and you can see the ball going up and down. Now to make it smoke, what you need to do is turn the air, air only off and we're gonna turn on the vapor. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna cause smoke vapor to come out. And this one smokes really well. Um, you can kinda of see the smoke coming out of it already. So, but here again, if you use a flashlight, it makes it real easy to see the smoke coming out of there. And usually if you just shine the flashlight across the smoke, that's the easiest way to see it. And so, Nice bright flashlight is what you need to see the smoke on it. And that's how you operate this one. So let's hook it up to a car and see if we can find if there's any vacuum leaks. Okay, I've got the vacuum or the smoke machine hooked up to a vacuum line. And the way I've got it hooked up is right here. So I've got my smoke tester hooked into a vacuum line and it's going into a vacuum port right up in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna turn on my vacuum, or my smoke tester. I've got the, the pressure, or the, the uh, flow meter going most of the way to the top, so I've got a lot of flow going through there. And then I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna look at the engine and see if I can see any smoke. So I don't know whether you can see that or not, but that smoke right there, that's where my leak is. Now I had to create a leak on this one because it didn't actually have a leak. And so I'll show you what I did to create the leak. I unplugged um, this uh, PCV tube out of the um, system. So that way you can see how it, how it works. And so if I plug that back in, that fixes our leak and we shouldn't, shouldn't see any other leaks uh, in the system. So eventually it'll fill up in here and it'll actually go past the throttle plates and it'll come out 
down here where the air intake usually goes if this was actually in a car. But I didn't see any other leaks in the system on this one. So in fact, you can see it's starting to come through right now uh, a little bit right there. So anyway, that's as hard as it is. So it's not very difficult to use a smoke machine um, to check for gasket leaks and, and other leaks. And I think earlier in the quarter I showed you a YouTube video on how to uh, check for vacuum leaks using propane. This is another method and you don't have to worry about things catching on fire with this method. So we'll see you in the next video.